the press some activity that's just happened in Lloyd TSB, so let's find out. Hey! Brothers and sisters. That's what I meant to say, isn't it? I'm <laughs> My name's Darius, I'm a student from Warwick University occupation now. Just to say, um, a group of us just went into Lloyd's TSB and intervened quite briefly. There was only a few of us so we, we didn't stay to get arrested but we went and gave a speech telling people about the cuts, telling people about the 17 billion that's of public money that's gone into Lloyd's bank, telling people about the salaries of the chief executives and executive directors of the bank. When our cuts and our the, the attack on our education, our jobs, our services is going to pay for a bank bailout all around the country today and over the last few days people have been occupying banks, have been taking actions, going into Vodafone, into other shops that are refusing to pay their taxes and making the points about where this money that we are losing is actually going. What I want to say to people here is join commentary against the cuts, get involved, come to demonstrations, but to be honest standing in a square like this isn't really enough. The only way that we are going to make any difference, make any change, is to actually go and take action. We can stand in a square talking to ourselves all day, but it's going to achieve absolutely nothing, to be honest. So I'd like to say, if people want to come with us, there are banks, there are shops, there are people who are taking our money, and this is where we need to be, that is where we need to take the fight. We need to go and talk to the public, we need to stop the traffic, we need to talk to the people all around Coventry about what's going on. If people want to come after this demonstration and stop the traffic or come and talk to people in shops and banks and explain to other people who don't know what's happening, then come with us. Thank you.